Everybody, shut up! And action! Alright guys, let's talk about the best action movie that I have seen this year. Javan. This movie was honestly amazing. I mean, I don't really have the words to describe it right off the top of my head. I went to the theater, watched this movie, and it was great! This movie is Shah Rukh Khan's latest blockbuster movie, and it was crazy. It's a story about a soldier trying to fight against a rich man who's kind of corrupting the nation, taking advantage of politics, not letting anyone... Like, the typical gangster-type thing, behavior, where he's uh, getting his influence into politics and everywhere, trying to sell malfunctioning weapons to the nation's army, and, not, and if anyone tries to stand against him, and no one's able to do a thing about it. And this is a movie about a soldier coming to make things right in his country. And honestly, it was a beautiful movie. It, it jerks it jerks your emotions. Like, at times, you are in tears. At other times, you are hyping up the characters. You are following through. When one character gets beat up, you're like, yeah, let's go, boy! And like, you're getting hyped with the character. You're getting excited. You're feeling tragic. You, it's a whirlwind of emotions that you feel throughout this movie. And it does make you cry multiple times throughout the film. All the acting performances were crazy good. Shah Rukh Khan has plenty of crazy entrances, sequences, plenty of badass moments. And we love it. And we love him for it. It was honestly an absolutely wild movie. It is absolutely gruesome with the fight scenes. The fight scenes went crazy hard, crazy badass. Everything about this movie was fun, entertaining, and amazing to watch. The cinematography was gorgeous. I absolutely fell in love with this movie. It was amazing. I would love to rewatch this any day of the week. It was great. Though it does not, it's not the perfect movie. It does have its flaws. I mean, right off the bat, it has the same flaw as um, Barbie. At the end of the movie, there's this entire sequence which literally feels like it's an attack on the governments of the world, uh, maybe particularly the Indian government, with like a political statement where it's like, oh my god, and where it's like, where it's like an entire sequence. If you cut it out of the movie, you could literally use it as an ad for saying, think before you vote. I mean, that's an important statement. Always think before you make your vote for any political leader or any decision in the world. You should always think before you vote. But like, it feels like a little attack on the government. And it's not so much that I, I have any information of whether it's a good thing they attack the government or not. I'm not very political. But it, it, it kind of just leaves the realm of fantasy fiction and into the real world. And it kind of takes you out of the fiction story, which is why I didn't like it at all. Um, it just got way too realistic all of a sudden. Like, I mean, there, there's like a way you can keep that level of realism in the movie and then suddenly transform that into the real world kind of just takes you out of that, which I really didn't like. And I mean, if you need perspective on it's like, it's literally like those ads where it's like a movie character um, talking as if it's a scene of a movie, but then coming to breaking the fourth wall and going like, you should vote with using your mind and thinking about who you're voting for and why. It's kind of like that 16 episode where, uh, if you've seen the 16 show, great show by the way from our childhood, uh, it's like they made a comeback episode where it was just solely about telling people to vote uh, for, uh, think before they vote before Trump or whoever he was going against in 2016. I don't know. But it kind of just felt like how crappy that episode was with that entire sequence. But besides that sequence, it was honestly pretty good, pretty entertaining. It does have other flaws where it's suddenly like, oh, I I'm figuring out you're pregnant by checking your blood pulse. I mean, apparently you can do that. I didn't know that and that caught me off guard and kind of was, what? How, how are you doing this? What? 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 But besides that, the songs were, uh, every single song was a banger. Uh, Chale guys. <laughs> is currently my favorite song I've been listening to it on repeat all goddamn day it was amazing uh, I can't get over it. the visual sequences the dances everything about this movie was gorgeous especially the videography I can't get over that so that, I can't I just can't get over it, it was beautiful Shao Khan's badass entrances the entire story unfolding honestly the entire play with unrestricted narration where it's like you know more than the other characters it keeps getting you high it's like oh right, don't mess with him he will get you back and then suddenly uh, things happen and you're you're just getting hyped all the way through it keeps you entertained it keeps you it, it jerks you with the story getting you emotionally attached with the characters with the story with the events unfolding where it makes you hate the politicians a million times more than you probably do already everything about this story is amazing it is one of the best action movies i have seen this year it was absolutely amazing it's a thrill of a ride it's a fun movie to watch it does have play plenty of other issues where it kind of just ends abruptly not kind of satisfying then get, not really ending with a completely satisfying feeling. It feels like there is like one or two loose ends that I didn't cover up, but for the most part, it is pretty satisfying and enjoyable. It is mostly an enjoyable watch. It was a fun movie. It's mirroring three hours long, but hey, I'm gonna give this movie a solid 80%. I loved it. It's a great movie to watch. It's a box, so be sure to check it out. Peace.